Hello old gays, it's Monday. I know I'm late with my old gay Monday video, but I was asleep all day. I was tired. But the good news is I'm not going back to my job for nine days. I was there, I left last night and I said, I can't come back. You gotta let me off for a week because if, if I, I can't come back here. It's been, I'm not gonna go into it because there's nothing worse than listening to someone complain about their job. But let's just say they were like, okay, I think it was a mutually beneficial arrangement for everyone involved. I didn't think they wanted me there for a week anyway. Fuckers. I think I can say fuck on the old gay channel. I feel more comfortable since it's old and gay. And you'd expect an old gay to say fuck. Feels good. And the only reason that I will go back is because I have learned that things can always be worse. Because they have been. And it got me thinking about all the horrible jobs I've had in my lifetime. I've had some lousy jobs. And one of the worst jobs was my first, one of my first jobs. I worked as, I don't know what I was, a slave. I think that's what I was. I worked at this theater company in New York. I'm not going to say what it was, but it, 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 is, it was a big theater company then. And now it's a even huge, huge, huge big theater company. Um, but I worked as their slave for a little while, and I worked primarily for the artistic director, who was this, I don't know, I thought he was really old back then, but maybe he was in his mid to late 50s, which doesn't seem as old now. And he was married to some actress woman, and they had a couple of grown children, and he was creepy! He was creepy as hell. I remember one of my things I had to do would, was go to this special beauty supply store up on Midtown on 8th Avenue and buy his eyebrow dye. He dyed his eyebrows. And he would touch me <laughs> in a way that made me feel very uncomfortable. He, would always, like, he was always like groping my neck, telling me what a young, beautiful neck I had. And I'd be like, eh, I was 19 years old. I didn't know any better. Oh, someone, I, you know what, if I can help the 19-year-olds, I will, because no one was there to help me. And then I remember he asked me if I wanted to make some extra money, and he had a house in Connecticut in the woods. Already this story sounds bad, right? And he wanted me to, you know, he said, I'll, you can make some extra money if you come out to my house in Connecticut in the woods, although he didn't say it was the woods. I didn't, it, wasn't, I didn't, it wasn't until I got there that I'm like, oh my God, this is in the middle of the woods. And I got out there, and, and, and the first thing he did, you know, he comes at me with the door with this glass of, of water or juice or something, and I drank it. I'm sure it was fine. And he had me, the first thing, he had me paint his deck. <laughs> Here I am thinking, I'm going to know, I'm going to organize his theater memorabilia, but instead I'm, you know, painting his deck with this big stick that had a roller on the end. And I got halfway done with painting the deck and I started getting dizzy, like really, really dizzy, pass out dizzy. I mean, it was all, everything was turning, you know, dark coming off from the periphery. And I, then I couldn't even stand, I fell down. I'm crawling around on the unpainted part of the deck, trying to get to the door. Literally, I, I'm crawling into the door. And he was just like sitting there on, on the sofa, looking at me as I'm crawling across his living room. Like I could, I could not even speak because I was about to pass out and I'm just crawling on the floor. I don't know what. And he's just sitting there, I remember. And I remember even thinking, this is very odd. He, he wasn't like he jumped up and said, what's going on? Can I help you? Do you, what, do you should I call 911? He was just sitting there like Colonel Mustard in the study with a candlestick. It was the paint fumes, I think. The paint fumes had made me, you know, kind of dizzy. Old gays, there's a topic for the week. Tell me about the worst job you ever had. I went to the best thing in San Diego, all the bestness. Um, and I met Van and I met Gina. I touched them. Flesh against flesh. They are real, live people.